Bad programmers worry about the code. Good programmers worry about the deeply rooted quantum algorithms of the universe. It's actually all about data structures. Yes, the thing that sounds boring and theoretical is actually the key to writing elegant, scalable, and maintainable code. At least that's what the creator of Linux believes. So, you've just started coding, and you're sweating bullets over whether your for loop should start at 0 or 1. You spend hours tweaking every line thinking that if you just make the code perfect, everything will work like magic. Well, it won't. Every beginner goes through this phase, writing endless lines of code, tweaking every if statement and obsessing over whether their indentation is just right. But here's the thing, the code is just the surface. The real problem? It's how you handle the data. In one of my past projects, back when I thought number of lines of code was somehow an indicator of genius, I worked on a feature that had hundreds of lines dedicated to filtering data. And when I say hundreds, I mean it was like attempting to assemble IKEA furniture without the instructions. Lots of random pieces, endless trial and error, and by the end, you're not even sure how it all fits together. We were filtering customer orders based on things like price, state range, and product type. Basically, if the user sneezed, we probably had an if statement for it. The function ballooned to 500 lines of pure chaos. It was so bad that adding a new filter felt like trying to balance a tower of Jenga blocks. One wrong move, the whole thing came crashing down. Then it hit us. Instead of hacking away at the code, we could restructure the data. By reorganizing everything into neat buckets with an indexing system, we cut down the logic, eliminated the nonsense, and reduced 500 lines of code to 50. Now, was the problem magically solved? No, it sifted. Instead of the code doing all the work, the data structures was pulling the strings. But why do good programmers think about data anyways? They don't just look at the code, they think about the relationships. Not the kind you find on Tinder, but how data relates to other data. Why? Because how data interacts can make or break your program's efficiency. Imagine organizing a book cell. A bad programmer dumps all the books in one pile and writes code to search through it each time. A good programmer? They create categories, index the books, and put the best sellers up front. And when you're looking for a specific book, you don't have to dig through the entire stack. And the same goes with data structures. Efficient organization leads to faster and smarter code. And here's a classic coding challenge to prove the point. Write a function that returns a frequency of characters in a given string. A beginner might use nested loops to count each occurrence manually, and this solution checks for each character multiple times. It works, but it is inefficient. What would a good programmer do? They would use a hash map to store and look up character frequencies in constant time. One loop, simple, efficient, and less time crying over slow execution times. And that, my friends, is the power of data structures. So now that I hope you are convinced about not worrying about the code, how do you make the shift to worrying about the data structures instead? Well first, think about time and space complexity. Every time you write code, ask yourself how efficient is this? Is there a better way to structure the data to make this faster? Second, choose the right data structure. Not every problem is an array problem. Sometimes you need a hash map. Sometimes you need a tree or a graph. Knowing which tool to use is half the battle. And third, optimize your problem solving approach. When faced with a task, don't just jump into writing code. Step back and ask, how can I structure my data to make this faster or simpler? And as you climb the ranks in programming, this concept becomes your superpower. Senior engineers at places like Fang don't just spend hours fussing over the exact syntax of a loop, they are too busy worrying about how the data moves through the system. They know that when the data is structured well, the code practically writes itself. And honestly, that's why they get the big bucks. If you're aiming for the next level in your coding journey, the TLDR is stop worrying about writing the perfect code, focus on organizing the data. Now, it might not sound as glamorous, but trust me, it's the key to writing programs that don't break when you sneeze or requires an archaeologist to maintain. So next time you're stuck, ask yourself, is the problem in my code or do I just need to rethink the data structure? I promise, more often than not, it's the latter. And that's what separates the bad from the good. And that's how you level up as a programmer. Now, go forth, restructure your data, and let your code be free from the chains of spaghetti logic. And if you're still stressing over that for loop, relax. It's probably fine. But also, start at zero. Always start at zero. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.